We see that's literally all we do. We don't even we don't even uh, do rehab. We just take selfies. <laughs> I am so uncomfortable by that. <laughs> that makes me so uncomfortable. What's it taste like? Uh, Victory? Victory. 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 <laughs> oh, that's your protein shake? Oh, this is my protein shake. Oh. Yeah. Uh, actually, Tilly's. Thank you. Shout out True Nutrition. Hashtag Cinnabons. Hashtag True Nutrition. Big day at Champion today. We have my my good friend, our good friend here, Mike Mullaney, uh, physical therapist yeah. in New York. You may recognize him from the Ask Mike Reynolds podcast. Different shirt though. Different shirt. Different shirt. He, he changed. We, Mike's a member of uh, the ICA Society with Lenny and I at uh, Champion, but awesome PT. Done a lot of great research. Tons of good research, like upper extremity uh, baseball stuff too. So obviously we like each other. Um, but you know, <laughs> just tons of great sports medicine research. Private practice, uh, Mullaney and Associates in uh, where. Is it? Matawan, New Jersey. Matawan, yep. New, New Jersey. I knew it was New Jersey. I didn't know the Matawan part. But also does a lot of research stuff with uh, the Nicholas Institute of Sports Medicine. Most importantly, Mike's here visiting Champion today just because we're, we're fun, right? So you wanted to come and have fun. Check and, it out. Check and, it out. And check it out. But Mike's on vacation for, uh, with his what? family right it. now. But also what I want to do. And he had a golf match yeah. canceled this morning. So we're going to play our golf chipping game that we play here at Champion all the time. And Mike's going to participate. We're going to bring the course to him. Thanks, Kay. Three points, two points, one point. As many practice shots as you want. Okay. One and done, or is it rounds? Ten, ten swings. Once, ten one, swings. Once you're ready, ten swings. Ten swings and just whatever you got. All right. I'm usually better than that. And right now, our high score, it's our official scoreboard right here. Official scoreboard, our post-it note. Okay. Right now, um, Kiefer's in the lead. Nailed it. Whoa. Is this it? Bullseye, come on. Well, you're in my territory. Oh, stop. Wow. He talked to my backswing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Do, do over, that was a little backswing. Let's talk to my backswing, come on. Three times. There it is. Oh. All right, let me show you how this is done. Come on, I feel like you can do it. Oh. <laughs> Boo. It was definitely, it was definitely seeing you in my backswing. Yeah. Can I actually go? Yep. Hey. Yeah, when you forget a spoon, you use a fork. It works. Fork yogurt. This guy, just check elbows and any pain with this. Nothing, pain with that. Any pain with that at all? Uh, no. You're good? No. The making of a diva right here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Becca Heath and I'm a level 10 gymnast. I ruptured my UCLs from a pretty bad fall and I had to get three surgeries and I had a lot of rehab, but I'm back now fully. She's back! <laughs> So here at Champion, obviously we see like thousands of baseball players, but not everyone's a baseball throwing UCL injury. Becca's a good example. She fell and hyperextended both of her elbows. So she tore both her UCLs at the same time. So which is pretty uh, pretty gnarly. But there's a lot of like traumatic falls that I see in gymnastics for that stuff. So similar rehab up to like halfway and then completely different rehab for the last three months getting back to sports. Not throwing programs, gymnastics programs, completely different. All we do, we don't even, we don't even uh, do rehab, we just take selfies.
big exciting week. We had our big friends from Woodway here. Mark from Woodway um, came to champion this week. He's in town uh, doing some other stuff. What are you doing this week, Mark? I'm in town for the APTA Next Conference that's held here in Boston this week. And I uh, thought I'd stop by and see our friends at Champion PT. Yeah, so Mark's been a good friend of Champion. has been by a couple times. Uh, obviously, we're big fans of the Woodway, so it's great to learn about some of the new stuff that they have coming in the uh, uh, down the down the pipeline. But again, just like showing us some of the technology with Woodway and stuff like that, it's pretty neat. So we use we use the Woodway Curve all the time. The Woodway Curve non motorized treadmill, which we're super we're super happy to use all the time because again, it's almost one of those devices like like some of our Airdyne bikes or Rower, where the more you put into it, the more that comes out of it, right? So we have our guys do some intervals on it. We do some sprint work on it. It's really a great tool for our athletes to do some some interval based stuff. With our Summer Strong Fitness Challenge, we really wanted to provide something different to people. A lot of places, you know, promise short-term results and at the end of the four weeks or six weeks or whatever it is, they, they don't have much to show for it and they're right back into the cycle of bad eating habits and, and poor exercise that they were in before. So what we did with this is not only are we providing them with, with exercise programs that are going to help them lose weight and get stronger in the short term, but we build in a nutrition component and we build in weekly habits so that by the end of the six weeks they have this whole toolkit that whether or not they stay with us or they do it elsewhere, they're able to stay healthy for the long challenge to add extra motivation and to really have a community to meet to help me kind of reach my goals both on a nutrition side and also on a strength and conditioning side. So for the second challenge I really realized the importance of nutrition um, more so than I did in the first challenge and I think that really helped me lose those extra couple of pounds and gain more energy to help um, on my strength side as well. So if you're hesitant about joining the challenge, I would really, really highly recommend it. I think for a couple reasons. One is the community aspect. Uh, two is the coaches are phenomenal. And three, I think the advice and the information they give you, both on the strength and conditioning side, but also on the nutrition side, really help you give you a well-rounded aspect of it and push you to your limits.